Hello. Today, uh, in our Secure World Spotlight series, I have the pleasure of talking with Mo Webby, and Mo is the uh, Vice President of Information Security at Pinsky Automotive Group. Uh, Mo, thanks for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. Tell us about your role at Pinsky and kind of what that entails. Yeah, sure. So, you know, Mo Webby, Vice President of Information Security and Project Management at Pinsky. Been with the company a little bit over uh, 12 years, kind of transitioned through various uh, roles. You know, Penske, it's not just the Penske, you know, truck, yellow trucks that you see out in the streets. We have, uh, you know, retail division, which is automotive group. We have logistics and transportation. And we also have Penske Performance, which, uh, which is your uh, NASCAR and uh, IndyCar. Awesome. Sounds fun. So, hey, we were chatting a little bit uh, uh, off camera about some unique uh, opportunities uh, that you are uh, exposed to in working at Penske. Do you mind sharing? We actually run the uh, Detroit Grand Prix that happens you know, here in, in June in Detroit. We uh, volunteer in the event and it's ran fully on volunteers and pretty much everyone in IT is able to volunteer that weekend, get in and uh, get to experience the race and kind of what behind the scenes. That's great. That's great. And how uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're wearing the big ear uh, oh, yeah. headgear, right? <laughs> it gets it gets uh, pretty loud, and you know you get to go in the pit stops and you know get to explore uh, a lot of the behind the scenes that some folks might not be you know able to check out. That's awesome. That's awesome. So hey, on September 18th, you were part of a uh, of a panel opening up the uh, the day for us there in uh, in Secure World Detroit. Um, and I believe your topic is on the hidden costs of cybersecurity. So tell us a little bit about your session and why that is uh, is of importance to you. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to talk about the hidden you know costs of cybersecurity. And we're not just going to talk about um, technical solutions. We're going to focus on, you know, you know, building the mindset of strategic planning, collaboration, and uh, incremental improvement within the cyber world and the business. Um, you know, we're going to touch on the CrowdStrike and you know, outage that happened. We're going to talk about third party risk. And really, the reason I'm passionate about, you know, this topic, you know, is I'm a strong believer that, you know, cybersecurity is a, you know, ever changing and ever constantly changing and evolving space. And, uh, you know, part of our, you know, role is we need to, you know, monitor that space and continuously evaluate and reevaluate all the security controls that we put in place and the solutions because you know at one point they made sense that you know depending on what the threat landscape looks like they might not make sense and by doing so it allows us to kind of remove the complexity and keep the complexity at a minimum and you know as the crowdstrike outage happened it really high, you know showed that if you have a lot of complexity it's going to affect the response and recovery from a business perspective at the, end, at the end of the day is, you know, we're trying to protect the business and our job is to, you know, be able to respond and recover in a timely fashion to get the business up and running as efficiently and quickly as possible. I love that. I love that. I think your your point about, um, you know, we all have our process and we have our, we have our controls in place, but really examining the threat landscape and if, if our controls meet today's evolving threats, and I think that's super powerful reminder, and I can't wait to hear some of the trends that you and the other panelists um, are doing at your respective organizations. So thanks so much for that. Um, hey, last question. Tell us, uh, tell us what uh, what Mo likes to do when when he's not, you know, volunteering in the pit, changing tires. So what do you like to do in your in your free time? You know, I'm a big proponent of fitness. Uh, you know, I love to first thing in the morning get up at five thirty, go work out. It helps me kind of get my mindset. Right. And, uh, you know, any, anywhere from playing tennis to pickleball. And then, uh, you know, recently picked up, uh, you know, uh, mixing music, uh, electronic music, primarily. That's that's a lot of nice. fun. Nice. Get your mind hey, up, you're you know, off of security. <laughs> You're working both sides of the brain there. I love it. I love it. So maybe we should start a uh, Secure World Detroit Pickleball Tournament next year. Yeah, love that. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time and look forward to seeing you on September 18th in Detroit. Thank you.